Let's talk about the 15th hole. Let's talk about the 15th. Uh, I'm glad I got the camera on you, right? Folks, he's pulled pitching wedge. Oh! <laughs> oh my wow. God. I thought Royal Liverpool was a really fun golf course. Partner, I think playing Portrush, that course, you need to kind of like visit and then like take a step away from. This course, Royal Liverpool, felt like a course that I want to play tomorrow. I think I could play it again the next day and have a fun, challenging time every single day. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. We didn't really schedule our travel day super economically. What time is it, Sean? 4 a.m. Driving from Portrush to Belfast, taking a 6 a.m. flight to Manchester, driving from there, uh, running on about three hours of sleep. We were probably running on fumes a little bit by the end of the day. Great test of golf, and it is always evolving. I've been the pro here for 40 years. Holy cow. Wow. That's amazing. So since you're, what, eight or nine years old? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My name is John Hegarty. I'm the head golf professional here at Royal Liverpool Golf Club. When you think of Royal Liverpool Golf Club, what do you think of? I think of history. That celebrates uh, Bobby Jones when he won his Grand Slam, mm -hmm. which was the US Open and Amateur, mm -hmm. British mm -hmm. Open and Amateur, so 1930 he did that. But his first international British competitive game was at Royal Liverpool, and his last really? competitive really? game was at Royal Liverpool. The club was founded in 1869, there was actually a race course here. The key to me, to all the excitement, was the bones of the place, the DNA. And one of the strange things is our practice ground sits in the middle of the golf course. And that's partly because the original race course went round the practice ground. What I get attracted to in golf courses is like a little bit of weirdness. <laughs> and I think the racetrack is a little bit of weirdness. It's that authentic quirk that you can't make yeah. up. The golf course here has shared with hunting, with racing, and obviously now it's solely a golf course. So it's, it's had a variety of uses um, in, in its history. The first hole for members, which is the third hole for the Open, it's a funny starting hole because you basically have to hit it 220 yards out and then you have to hit it 200 yards to the green. Yeah. Both that, of them are demanding that's quirk, golf shots. Right? Yeah. Like that's the definition of, of quirk. <sighs> Theme of the day today racetrack. We're gonna run around this place like a couple of horses, stallions. That's the goal. Who are we wearing today, Sean? Uh, we're wearing a designer called Footjoy. We're good friends at Footjoy. They've hooked it up. I'm also locked and loaded with a potential extra layer from the Thermo series. But I've also got this nice hoodie and then got a nice number under here too. Plus, going blue today. Pretty soft. Can you hit it that high? Yeah, it's pretty high, so I have a long way to go, I guess. Oh, it's in play. Stay in there. Gosh. Nice. That was the safe, into that grass. safe area. Yeah, yeah. Away from the horses. When our visitors come, we like to think we produce a fair test of golf. Is there a yardage by you, Dylan? 174 to the front. Go and go and go and go. Oh yeah. Nice, Sean. High ball. I mean, it feels like you're hitting down a bowling alley. Yeah. It just goes, you've kind of got bumper on the right. <laughs> Settle down. Settle. Settle down, ball. Settle down, Paul. No, oh, really didn't go that far. That's a good pace, huh? Feels pretty good. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Wow. Oh. Great putt. Nope. Left her out there. Smooth five. It's okay. 
Bogey is way better than seven yesterday. With two stroke advantage already. Oh, yeah. Oh, got into that so one. So good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well done. Tamara and Paul, those are two people that love this golf club deeply. Uh, I've been a member for about 14 years. And I've been a member here for about four and a half years. I like playing with Tamara and Paul for different reasons, I guess. Paul has been a member here for a while, so he could show off all the shots and also describe other, other shots that he's seen. Tamara was a really impressive. Excellent use of the putter from off the green. Oh yeah. Settle. Nice line, sit. Oh, sit. I'm inspired by the putter. Oh, nice. Thank you. Wow, great job. Also just kind of boundless enthusiasm from both of them for the golf course. Yeah. All right, let's see the gang do it. Be good. Dylan's playing really well. I think he's one under one under three six. I'm not one under three six, but I'm having fun. How many opens have you been here for? I've been here for this is my third open. I mean, obviously, the open is is a massive worldwide sporting spectacle. So to have anything like that on your doorstep is a very exciting thing to look forward to. And we are so proud to have it because it puts Hoylake right at the forefront of, of the, the sporting calendar for that one week of the year. What do you remember most from 06? Well, first the excitement. I mean, not having had an Open since 1967, to have the Open come to town was just, the, the buzz and the excitement was incredible. The skill that Tiger Woods had to play the way he played. Well, first of all, he had a, a two iron, you know, this very small headed two iron that I would struggle to even find the middle of the club face in. And he, he used this club incredibly off the tee. And then, you know, he, he managed his second shots because although the ground was very hard, he just managed to control the flight of the ball all the time and therefore control the spin that he had. And as a result, he was seldom in any trouble. He just played that remarkable, remarkable he was. Yeah, and it was also quite an emotional thing for his, because his father had, you know, not long passed away. And, uh, you know, when you've the number one player in the world wins one of the most prestigious championships in the world, it sort of means that the golf course is a pretty decent test of golf and, uh, you know, the cream comes to the top. <laughs> Same question for 14 then. When you think back to that year, what stands out in your memory? Well, I mean, and the unusual situation was that uh, Saturday we had this potential thunderstorm. So it's the first ever time that we've had a 2 T start. But again, you know, Rory McIlroy, it was quite exciting having him, Garcia and a few others who were, who were vying for the position. But once again, the ball striking and the way that Rory finished um, in the third round as well, you know, it, it was just, he, he was just in a class apart from everybody else. There's a saying that Darwin said is Hoylake fundamentally owned, is owned by the members, but it's also owned by the world of golf. And, and when you have a golf club that's as prestigious as this, you know, we don't have a philosophy that let's keep it closed so that people can't come and share it with us. We as a golf club are enthusiastic to have uh, visitors come to the club and, and simply to just share our heritage and share the links with them. It's so difficult to imagine that 16,000 approximately seats a stadium. Yeah. It's kind of right. fitted in a horseshoe shape. The condition of the golf course, we like to think, is not far off what is going to be for the Open Championship. It's not something that gets tricked up for an Open Championship. What you see is what you get. Punch ball. Fun. Perfect. Thanks. Go! That'll work there. Nice. Hearing that you've got a bunker on the left, sure. you've got a bunker on the right, mm -hmm. there's a bunker on that side of green. Jeez, not a whole lot of green to look at from there. Cut. Right in that bunker. Yeah. Go. No. 
I'm feeling like a stallion right now. A couple lame shots. I gotta get back on the horse. I think this is the first bunker I've been in the whole trip. As I say, our bunkers are your water and your trees. So you hit it in the water, you hit it in the trees, you accept a lost, a lost ball or a penalty shot. You hit it in the bunkers here, you're gonna have to do well to make your par. <laughs> Spin. Yeah. Nothing to it really. Settle. Oh, the sound is softer in uh, the UK, in my opinion. So much, so much more consistent. Great meeting you, Paul. Yeah, and you as well. Seriously, yeah, thanks for yeah. playing with us. All right, we no longer have Paul to tell us where to hit it. Smacked. Let's see one go in. Oh, yes, what a Ooh. putt. Do you know what the members say here? What's that? Never give a putt on the 10. Never give a putt on the 10? Officially t-shirt time, Sean. Checking out my shoes. Flex XPs. And I got all the cars in my socks, too. I was gonna tell you, there's three islands out here. Yeah. That is what the 15th is named after, that one. Little I? Because of the size of the green. Oh, <laughs> funny. There is a gorgeous new hole, the 15th for members. The 17th is going to be the open. 17th for the open. Feels like literal sun shining down on it right now. Cue the clouds opening. <laughs> you did that just for us. I mean, it's a beautiful hole. The green is probably the highest point on the property now, I would say. I think they probably elevated a little bit so you can actually see out. I mean, the views from that green are just spectacular. Wait, how could anyone not like this hole is my question. I think that some people were quite reluctant because it was a beloved car three here before. Um, and I wanted to show you this picture because that is how close I came to a hole in Oh no. On no. this hole. No wonder you love it. I, I've also got an 11 on this hole. <laughs> That's a full range. But That's this really... Is, this is why I wow. find the hole so exciting. It's a slightly different vibe than the rest of the course, but I think that that's a smart idea. From my perspective, it breaks up what is in effect five very long holes with a cute little short hole and it'll just change the mindset of the player. Wow, it's a good looking hole. 121, folks, he's pulled pitching wedge. Uh, I'm glad I got the camera on you. Oh! <laughs> oh my wow. God. Oh, I'm so sorry. The disbelief of a pure, cold, hazel rocket. <laughs> wow, we've been building that one. Oh All trip. God. It's one of those things where you hit it, you look up to, to check your normal flight path, and you just see the ball. Instead of being here, it's over here. For my next act. I teed one up as fast as I can because I, I mean, while we're talking about horses, that's a situation where you got to get back on the horse as soon as you can. Short, bouncing on. I didn't make a great next swing, but I made a good enough next swing to kind of flush the system. Ooh, right at right it. Right at the there. hole, too. Right at it. Be good. Yes. Thing of beauty. And I somehow followed it up with the best swing of maybe my trip. Signature hole, you and me both stepping up in the clutch. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. New hole. Debut yeah, the hole that everyone's going to be talking about next year during the Open. Hey, great job there, Sean. Tried missing it. Nice two. <laughs> two strokes. Oh, best swing of the trip, best result of the trip. Most You're... scenic hole. Talk about polarizing results there. <laughs> I feel bad, but I think that shank is going to stick with me for a long time in a... Um, Oddly positive way. For me, the 15th is so important because this is one of the grand pieces of work we need to do in order to secure the heritage for the future generation.
we're always trying to innovate, we're always trying to develop the club, not only for, the, for our visitors, not only to welcome the best players in the world, to the benefit of our members. I think that's something that'll stick with me, is like, you can still be a very traditional, century-old club, all this history, and you can still be focused on 2023. They have an eye on the future here that I don't think other clubs talk about. If we're going to continue to hold the, such a prestigious event, we've got to move with the times. So the Open Championship is a catalyst that allows us to do many things. Sean showing off a proper Lynx shot and... Oh, you know, it was the one that's, bounce. That's right in the bunker. Oh, he's done it. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, amazing. For seven, I think. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Not to be outdone. Nice sand save. All right. One more chance for glory. Missile. Mm -mm. And faded. Thin and healy. Gosh, you gotta go home. Who's ready for a Guinness? This guy. Oh no. One last bunker. Oh, one last one to finish. Nicely done. Ah, oh, well this is an impossible shot. This is a great way to finish. Just don't pull your groin or anything. Is this it? I think so. Maybe wait a little more forward if you can so you don't just blade it. Into the it. bunker? I'm gonna fall over. No, no, that way. Just so you don't like blade it, I mean. I'm gonna blade it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> That's tremendous. Oh my gosh. Oh, such fun. Wow, what a great shot. Oh, All well right. done. Really good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thanks to my putting coach. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here. Wow, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, really good. enjoyed it. Thanks wow. for such lovely guys. <laughs> thank you. Wow, we had a great time. Hard good job, sir. Good plan. I'm proud of you. Portrush kicked our ass. Today if we played Hoy Lake to a draw, I would say. For all my talk of racehorses, I just made a, a lot of pars. A one birdie and one shank double. Unbelievable all-time shank. Hey and the, the ball you've been using all trip is now gone. Yeah, that's for the best. We have our third open Rota course in our third country tomorrow in three days. And it's gonna be the best of the three days. Here's what we're gonna do, because I can feel the energy getting a little bit low at a couple points. A little negative. God, you stink. Oh my God, what the hell? Suck. But tomorrow, there will not be a negative word spoken. You hit a bad shot, you're not allowed to say a negative thing. This is gonna be really you don't have hard. You to lie. If you do, I'll kill you. <laughs>